Uh, and uh, the, the, what I'm going to now talk about are very good, easy for you, but indeed uh, you may, you don't have to, but you may take somebody into the booth with you to vote. If you're not sure about, no. you can take your friend in to vote. There are some people that vote. I, I have been involved with a woman whose eyesight is going away, and she wants help voting, and I've made arrangements for her to have someone who is sighted to help her. Yeah, I don't need any problems. Uh, yeah, I understand. I, that I understand. But I, these are just, mm -hmm. I, I'm covering some bases. Um, and we can produce for you, if you'd like, a sample ballot for what you will have when you go into the voting booth. And if you know all the things you're going to be voting on, we don't have to give that to you. But if you'd like that, we can show one to you right here, right now. And this morning's Casper Journal has yeah, they have a good, a full, good full, uh, voter uh, thing. Voters, oh, uh, it's, it's, it's about eight pages, and it, I, I checked most of the names to see if they were in there, and they most of them yeah. I was mainly interested in, in your take on the different issues. And I have strong opinions about those three proposals okay. and can present that to you okay. now. Uh, the, item one, I believe, is the one cent sales tax. Mm -hmm. And the idea that it's only a penny to you and me, but it's millions to the community. Uh, every time I see a new fire truck, I'm delighted that I bought that. And when I see extra police cars, I'm glad I bet bought that. That's those those items are protecting me, and uh, so I am. For those two reasons alone, I am in favor of the one cent. But to oh, on top of that, the the new water lines, uh, the new uh, uh, water treatment plant, all of that kind of stuff is, uh, I think, beneficial. And without that one cent, we would be uh, probably hit with a bigger tax. So that's my take on the one cent. Well, I agree with you. So um, that's why I wanted to vote, so I could vote for that. Thank you. Uh, and the next one is, help me out. It's the lodging tax. The lodging tax, thank you. The lodging tax today is 3%. So a salesman comes to Casper to pitch uh, something to the community. Uh, his, his room costs $100. There's $3 added to that, 3%. Uh, here, and the proposal is to turn that $0.03 cents into $0.04. Cents. Want an added penny on that. A lodging tax that only would apply to people who are staying in hotels, motels in the community. And so it's selfishly nice, let that guy pay for it. And what that money goes to is propose, is, is presenting to the community improvements and are we going to develop uh, that uh, uh, concert hall? Uh, it doesn't pay for that concert hall, but it pays for the promotion of that concert hall and the community as a whole. If that is denied, the three cents goes away. Mm -hmm. So it, the, we were not given the option of simply keeping it at three. Mm -hmm. It's now four or nothing. Okay. And is, is that for four years to be renewed after that, or is it two? I forget. I that have should to, be a four-year tax. Yeah, I think it's four years. I think so, yeah. I don't think there's anything that we're bidding on this two I don't think, years. I don't think we can front, front it every election, no. And so it's like generally kind of a marketing for the community, that kind it of is. thing? Yeah. It is exactly mm -hmm. that. It is marketing to the community. And uh, I think it's a little bit like the Downtown Development Authority that mm. is doing stuff in the community. And it helps fund all of that. Uh, and now the third is? Uh, the trustees for the University of Wyoming. That's exactly right. Yes, and that, that is a good one as well. As it is today, uh, the governor selects trustees to be on the board at the university, and the legislature approves his selection. And they all must be Wyoming residents. 
the proposal is to allow the governor to select 20% of the trustees oh, okay. to be out of state. It basically gives him a little latitude to find some fresh meat into the group right. to, to sure. uh, improve the uh, uh, viability of that group. Uh, and I am strongly in favor of that as well because it's a small percentage yeah. and he does, it's not mandatory. It is a choice. If he so, so chooses, he could pick somebody from elsewhere. I am in strong favor of all three of those proposals. Mm -hmm. And I believe those are the only proposals on the ballot. Well, and the, the last proposal um, makes sense because we have so many alum that came from someplace else and have returned to that place or people that lived here cast in Wyoming and they now reside elsewhere but they still understand and love their university mm -hmm. and uh, are have deep interest and uh, my my other alma mater, the University of Denver, um, they they have far flung around the world um, alums, and they are not shy about keeping in touch with you and asking you for your money. Of course, that's one of the things that trustees do, but um, it's it's world now. It's not just Wyoming and. We, I think we miss a lot of good people if we keep closing it down. Uh, I, 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 with that, I think Ruth is uh, signing out the system. I don't have anything else to add, I, I, unless you have questions. And please mm, no. bring up any questions that you might have. Is the 1% tax, is that four years also? Yes, it is. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. It is four years. And it has done dramatically good things. I must admit, as someone who's lived here since 1972, uh, some of the choices I have not been in favor of. What? We did that at the golf course? Golf? I don't do golf. No. Okay. But it is, it is a community thing, and it, it, it yeah. brings people into town, and enhances the local life of those that do play golf. Yeah, you can't please everybody. You know, so. Certainly. Actually, Dan, I think, I believe the present parking garage of the hospital was one cent money. I wouldn't dare correct I, you if you were wrong. No. And so, uh, <laughs> I, I think I remember correctly. I know over time because it's, it is a community institution and it is more or less supposedly owned, I guess, by Casper or Natrona County. Um, it seems to me that they desperately needed that garage and that that came out of the 1% money. I'd have to, okay. I'd have to go back and look I think, I think the one cent money is putting the bathrooms in the existing garage on Center Street across from uh, That's uh, Wonder Bar. It is. They are putting, they're putting in bathrooms there and they're going to be lit and monitored with, with cameras so we don't have dangerous right. stuff going on there. That's good. And, and it's all good. And uh, that is a one cent. Some of the one cent stuff is, is really good stuff. Mm -hmm. And some of the, like I said, golf courses, uh, I'm not suggesting they, they buy uh, the uh, uh, pro shop, but they, they were maintaining. I think it probably helps maintain the, the city course. Sure. But. Uh, well, and I, I think Detrona County, especially with just this one, one cent, one percent, or whatever we want to call it now, I guess it's four. It's four if we pass it. Be careful! It's I think still, that's un uncomfortable. Don't say that. No, it, it it is still. Ruth, that makes it seem wrong when you say it's four cents. No, well, I know it is one cent. It is only one cent we're talking yeah. about. But our our whole sales tax system. It's collected through that. And people gasp that, like, that's all the tax you charge in this county? There are other counties you're going 7 and 8 percent. They, they can't because they increased their taxes exponentially over time. 
and you go down to Denver and to get in a hotel anymore, I think it's about 9% now. It's huge. You're, you, you better think about it before you <laughs> take up residency for very long in some of their hotels. And um, uh, it's, it's, so it's really, it's a wonderful thing to provide wonderful things for this county. Mm -hmm. I think so. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, I, 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 I worry when Ruth says, well, it's four cents, well, it's not four cents. Yeah, I'm, it so, is truly, I'm sorry. That's okay. I mean, she's right. There is a four, it is a four cent tax. There is a total of four cents. But the only one we're talking about is the one cent. They, they sort of try to explain it on that uh, ballot. Sure. Uh, and that truly concludes my talk, unless you have something you want to add or ask a question. This building is an interesting subject. Uh, we, the, the board members of this facility here, are trying to get more assistance from the One Cent Group. This is funded by federal government and county government and city government, and we would like to have a bunch of fairly small items, but kind of important items is some talk. If you've walked in the front door, one of the things we're looking at is changing the way the doors work. They're hard to open, especially if you're 85 and are on a walker, it's hard to get through there. And so what we are talking about is, if we can find the money, doing some of those automatic slide doors that open wide, see you coming and open wide. Uh -huh. And if you are slow getting through it, they'll try to close on you, but they'll sense you there, like an elevator and then back away. That's one of the proposals we're talking about. Uh, uh, small but potentially valuable things, and we're trying to get uh, the people that decide who's on the committee. This is, to me, it's one step removed. The county commissioners and the city council pick the group that decides who gets what money. And we, uh, as consumers of that money, don't get to uh, do have much say over that. Joe is saying you don't get it. Well, come on, Joe. We'll talk to them and we'll try to convince them, but may not succeed. So uh, we, and this senior center here, we really want some of that one cent money. Mm -hmm. Trying to get it. We're not pleading, we're not crying, but we're still saying it's valuable for the community and we think it is a value for the community. Renee says the polls are open election day seven to seven. Correct. Yes. Seven A to seven P. And uh, you can absentee vote up until election day if you wish to. That's in, in the clerk's office, right? That is you in the clerk's office, that is correct. That's in the clerk's office, which is on Center Street in the big old-fashioned courthouse building, the old one, uh, and second floor. And they've got the booths up there ready for you. And it's, um, it's cute little information. It's an, You have a soft pencil, and you block in the ovals to identify. And if you block in two, by mistake and wish to change that, you can go back, you could go back to the clerk and get another ballot. Or, uh, and the other thing to know is it will only invalidate that one select uh, choice. So that if you were voting for Joe and you didn't want Sally, but you ended up putting Joe and Sally, it means that neither one of those would be counted the rest of your ballot would be counted. And everybody I've ever met that works the polls are so good about helping uh, people and overseeing and, and providing, you know, if you, if you have done it wrong, giving you another chance at it. There's never, I've never met any of them that have questioned anything. And it really, really upsets me when they talk about 
voting frauds and stuff like that. And I keep thinking, not in Wyoming. We aren't, we aren't doing that. We've never done that. And um, we always figure out the counts. And uh, they, they have a committee here in Casper that has the League of Women Voters uh, functioning on it that are the last people to look at your ballots and sign a form that says all ballots are corrected. And when uh, Marianne, um, what was Marianne's last name? Was it Collins? Collins, yeah. yeah. When she started it when she was a uh, uh, city clerk. And <laughs> the committees down in Cheyenne said, who are these three people's name on, on this thing? And what's, what's this third person about? Well, the third person was the League of Women Voters person who happened to be me. And, <laughs> and she's explaining it to me. They said, why, why are you doing this? And she said, because I'd like to represent our office as being non-prejudiced and that the votes are all uh, looked at and tallied and done by these honest people. And, like, oh, so we're here, or what is she doing? Well, they couldn't, they, it didn't, they couldn't say you can't do this. And several other counties started doing that because she, um, she got, it, got it running and they decided, well, maybe that's a pretty good idea. So that's another contribution that the League of Women Voters has made to the voting in this county forever. There's, they're, they're, they're looking at it. And um, it's, I think it's quite, quite nice to be here and have an organization like this. So, what, what more can I say about the League? <laughs> Sign up. Yes, we have Sign up and be members. We have the application thing, right? Well, not the application, just interest. <laughs>